privilege to be named the first recipient of the Mario M. Cuomo Award in Public Service. So from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you to you. And of course, I want to thank the governor for the wonderful introduction and for taking the time to be here this evening, and particularly because this evening's event is about scholarship and education. And Governor, thank you for your leadership in Albany on this very issue, and thank you for your absolutely unwavering commitment to fight the fight for quality education and educational opportunities for every child in the state of New York. Thank you. And we get two for one this evening, a great Italian-American and a great champion for children and education. So, it is a great honor for me to stand before all of you this evening to receive this award. But let me assure you of one thing, and that is that I am keenly aware of the fact that awards are not given solely for the purpose of honoring an individual or a personality. Awards are intended to symbolize standards of excellence, and they are intended to inspire all of the wonderful qualities that we value in society, in our personal lives, and in our professional lives. And to my mind, there can be no more perfect or appropriate standard bearer for an award in public service than the late Mario Cuomo, a man who spent his entire career in service to others, a brilliant and eloquent philosopher statesman, the absolute model, the model for decorum and civility and dignity, and certainly, and I think everyone in this room will agree, the most cherished Italian-American that we have had the great good fortune to call our own. And you know, for all of his accomplishments and achievements, Mario Cuomo, it appears, had a very, very simple philosophy in life. And when asked what inscription he would like to see on his headstone, the governor very famously replied, he tried. And then he went on to say, and I'm going to quote him on this, your job is to make the world as good as you can. And if all you can do is take care of yourself, then you take care of yourself. If all you can do is take care of your family, then that's what you do. And if you get a little bit stronger and you get to be a mayor or a king and you take care of your village, or your kingdom. And if you get to be a genius like Einstein, then you help everyone. But whatever you can do, you will be measured by your effort. A beautiful philosophy that reflects the appreciation and the respect that this man had for the dignity of every human being. And so, this evening. I am thankful that in the words of Mario Cuomo, I was able to become a little bit stronger. But I know in my heart and in my head that that is in large part because of two absolutely magnificent Italian parents and a wonderful Italian home and family that I grew up in. I know it's because of the support and the comfort that's given to me by my wonderful family and especially by my fantastic and devoted husband of 34 years, Dennis Glazer. And of course, by all of the friends and mentors that I have had, particularly you, Judge Nikolai, along the way who have supported me and guided me through my career. So once again, 
I want to thank Naya for this incredible honor. I want to thank the governor for being here and for his friendship, which I value and treasure, governor. And I want to thank all of my family, colleagues, and friends for joining us this evening. This is certainly an evening and an honor I will not soon forget. Thank you. Our final honorees, Edward and Peter Rigotti. They represent the family success that 